Hey everyone, this is Giggles with Crafts, Tries, and DIYs, and in this video, I'm going to try to make a DIY t-shirt tote bag. I have my selected t-shirt, some scissors, a pencil, and my ruler. So, let's see how this works. First, I'm going to line up my... Uh, drawing or color thing whatever like basically I'm gonna I'm gonna dot a line around or try to at least maybe okay this might take a while okay so I finally did my little markings did some markings right here right here right here and I even did a marking down here, and I even did little tick marks so I can know how high I'm supposed to go. <sighs> Alright, now next is the fun part. Little, oof, these scissors are really tight. Okay, now let's see how this will go. Watch me mess this up. Knowing me, I would not doubt it. Ow. These Caesar, oh, these see, these Caesars, these scissors are very. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. Are very stiff. Watch this be all crooked. And, oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Got one part off. Just throw that to the side. Now that's a little fringy. It's okay. Maybe I can pull out some threads and make it look all cute like. Ooh, there we go. See, and take some take some tweezers to it. Oh, no, I gotta do this part. Okay. I'm not very good left-handed. Oh, these scissors are so stiff. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm really horrible with my. You know what? Maybe I could have just done it this way. You know what? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna turn it. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just gonna flip it around some. There we go. I should have just done that in the first place. But no, I gotta go the hard way. Woo! Okay, this may take a while. Okay, so I finally cut off that part, that part, this top part, and I cut off this bottom part. Now I just need to cut up the lines right here and then tie them. I think I might rest a little bit. My hand is getting all cramped. I even have a little red mark right there. Oh man, those scissors are so stiff. I should have exercised out these scissors first before I did this video. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now, let's do the little stripe thingy. The What would what, you call them? I'm not really sure what you'd call them. The, um... Strings, maybe that's what they're called. Strings, strips, strips, string strips. Strippy strings. I don't know. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just. Uh, I'm just coming up with some weird names for this stuff. Okay, this, you know what? This is gonna take a while, too. I'm so sorry. Okay, so, I finally, okay, so, recap, cut these off, I cut this off, cut off that link, and now I made my little strippies. Strings. Strippy strings? Stringy strips. I don't know, whatever, I can't remember. I'm just gonna pick something at the end of this video, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. 
Whatever it is, is whatever it is, I guess. You know what? I'm just going to call it strippy strings. Why not? Well, actually, no. Why don't you just call it stringy strips? Because strippy strings kind of sounds like as if it's strings that are trying to strip. Which is weird. Anyways. Now, off. Aw, I totally forgot to. Ah. See, that's what happens whenever I think of stringy strips. Or strippy or Huh, never mind. You know what? It's okay. You guys found out what it is. You guys remember? It was stringy strips. Strippy strings? No, stringy strips. That's right, because I said the strip string. You know what? I'm just going to cut these on the side. Don't mind me. This might take a while. Okay. Now that the hard part is finally over, and I finally cut these little end flaps, because I forgot to do that in the beginning, <sighs> now comes the fun part. I get to sit here and talk to you guys and I'm gonna tie it right here and that's gonna be the little end part which well I guess the bottom part as you can say as you, you most people would call it I'm gonna tie mine really tight I don't know exactly how other people like to do like especially when you make the t-shirts where you make the little fringes on the side I like to I, tongue twister I like to make mine really tight because, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, I guess probably my OCD and I feel like it's going to come on loose and whatnot. And it's just like, okay. And I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I think it's just me. Ah, get through. Okay. Da, da, da. Ah. I'm really sorry in the fact that I don't have any beads. I just thought about that when I was cutting these little strips. And I was thinking about, oh, I could put some beads in here. But then I was like, oh, wait, I don't have any beads. Why is it? Look, there we go. There we go. <sighs> I am so tired. I am sweating. I am tired. My hand hurts. <sighs> And listen to me just complain, 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 complain. You know what? We're going to talk about fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun. Where's that? Oh, wait, no. Okay, now I remember. It's that. That that Tigger. Okay, remember Winnie the Pooh and Tigger? I mean, of course, there's. I don't know if they still make any more movies about them or if they're still on TV anymore. I don't think so. But I remember for the song. I mean, I don't, I don't know the whole song, but Tigger's song. It's got fun, fun, fun in there. It's like, oh, it's like. Tigger is the fun thing and I don't know. I had a teacher. She knew the whole song and she could sing it. She even named her cat Tigger. That's my favorite character. I love Tigger. He's, he's adorable. My sister likes Pooh. Pooh Bear. So it's funny because Pooh Bear and Tigger. And it's like, oh, that's, that's cute. If only I had liked Piglet, then we could be like bestest of friends, but... I mean, Tigger and Pooh are still friends, aren't they? Well, I mean, like, everybody in the, the, what is it? What's, what's that? Uh, I want to say 100 Acre Woods, isn't that what it's called? In that little area, woods, place that they're at, they live in. I want to say that everybody is friends there. I never liked the rabbit. I don't know why, but I always thought he kind of had, like, a stick up his butt. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Like, there was a lot of characters when growing up that I felt bad for that I didn't like. Like, okay, like, for example, Tom and Jerry. I did not like, uh, I did not like Jerry, that little mouse. I always felt so bad for Tom. It's not because of the whole fact, because I like cats. I mean, yeah, I'm a, I'm a cat lover. I like cats. But, I don't know, just, I never liked Jerry when growing up. Is anybody else like that, or is that just me? I don't know. Or, like, uh, ooh, ooh, or, like... Uh, cat dog, that rancid rabbit. Ooh, I couldn't stand him either when growing up. When I was little, ooh, I hated him. I could not stand him. Even now, I still don't like him. All right, I'm gonna do a double knot across the way here, and I will meet you back again. Okay. So, so after I did this and I did the double knot, this is the end result. Kind of looks like a cut-off t-shirt. I mean, well, it is a cut-off t-shirt, yes, but I feel like I should have made this bottom a little bit longer because now I feel like 
this is too short. See where are those tweezers at? Okay, now about the whole fringing part. I don't think it's really gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Cause you know, why not? Well, it's looking a little fringy, I guess, kind of. Kind of looks like as if when I cut, I miss. Like, I kept, like, stopping and cutting. Like, you know when you're in kindergarten and you're cutting some piece of paper and then you stop and then you cut again and you stop and you cut again. It's got all those kind of lines all zigzaggy. That's what it kind of looks like with this. But, you know what? That's okay. Watch, after after this video, and then when I start using this as a new bag, I kind of need a new bag anyway. Some people are going to be like, ooh, girl, that's so cute, where'd you get it? And I'm like, well, I made it. And they're like, nah, -uh, really? And I'm like, yeah, -huh, really? They're like, nah, -uh. and I'm like, yeah, -huh. and I'm like, nah, -uh. and I'm like, yeah, -huh. actually, that was kind of annoying. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry, guys. But, uh, yeah. And then they'll be like, and they should make this into a commercial. We're like, tired of always going out to always going shopping. You can never find the right bag. And you're always looking. You can't find the right color. You can't find the right size. Well, I mean, they shouldn't say all that. But you get the gist. I mean, ladies, you know, you know how that feels whenever you're trying to find for the perfect bag. And sometimes you just think, mmm, I'm not really feeling this one. I know that's how my sister is every single time. We go shopping, we go to Marshall, Sears, J.C. Penney's, Macy's, wherever. Mostly it's Marshall's. Um, and we go shopping, you know, for something like, for example, she needed, her and her boyfriend needed some, some cups and some plates. So we went shopping there, and they actually have some nice cute stuff over there. But before we left, every single time, oh, let's go to the bag section. I want to see what kind of purses they have. Like, really? When we were little, I kid you not. I kid you not. When we were little, she used to have a big, like, huge, clear tote bag of nothing but other little purses slash bags. Like, she even had this cute, well, I mean, I guess it was kind of cute. I'm not really into the color pink. I mean, eh, funny to say. Um... She had this cute little, like, circular mini Mouse uh, purse, and it had pink, it was pink and it was white, and it had, like, little pink hearts on it, and it had, like, Mickey Mouse, or Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse's face, and, you know, her little bow, her pink bow she had in, and, and heart, like, white and pink hearts around it and stuff, and I think it even had a pink strap, I can't remember. She never used it, but she had it, and it's like, okay. Even now, like, sometimes I remember she was into the whole, I have to have bags that are bigger than me. Like, she could fit herself in it. We are small. We are short people. Well, I mean, she's 4'7", but we, we're tiny. We're tiny. And she would always get, well, for a while, for, well, I guess, like, the longest time from, like, probably freshman year to senior year in high school, she used to get bags, really big, huge tote bags that she could probably actually fit in herself. I don't know why she was all into that, but she was, and it's like, okay, you have fun with that. And then all the girls in high school would be like, oh, that's so cute. You look like you can fit in it. And it's like, <laughs> are you making fun of us? But... Yeah, anyways, I'm just making a mess with all of these little, what you call these little, these little pieces of the, of the t-shirt. Here I am trying to make it all cute and everything, like, um, like, you know when they make, um, when they have, like, a picture and it looks like it's been burned and looks all, looks pretty cool like that? Yeah, I'm trying to make something that's cute and looks kind of rugged and I'm just making a mess. But, or, 
I guess as they say, in order to make something pretty, you have to make a mess. Well, actually, I don't know who says that. I kind of just made it up just now. Oy. Anyways, well, this is going to be interesting, I guess. No one's going to compliment on my bag. And you know what? That's okay. Because, yeah, I'm kind of having some second thoughts on this. But I'm going to use it. Don't get me wrong. I'm definitely going to use this. Because like I said, I've been needing a new bag lately. Because I had I had this one purse. What purse was that? Oh, no. I had, I had a crocheted myself a purse over the summer. I still have it, but my lip liner I think ended up opening it like the cap came off and it just smeared like all up on the bottom and it's like great <sighs> anyways Well, but I do really like this idea, so that's something. I think I might make me another one, because I have a ton of shirts. More shirts than I do of pants and shorts. I don't know, ladies, if that's your problem or your guys' issue, but I know that's definitely my issue. I have more shirts than I do of pants or shorts. I remember for the longest time, whenever... Ma, whenever we'd go shopping, my mom would always yell at me because I'd be like, oh, look at this shirt. She's like, you need more pants. You need to get that. Don't be looking at the shirts. I'm like, but mom, they can match my skinnies. No. I'm like, even now, like, I'm, I'm an adult. I'm 25 years old. Even now, whenever, if I, whenever I go shopping, my mom will still be breathing down my back. She'd be like, you need to get more pants. You need to get more shorts. Ah, oh, fine, Mom. If it'll make you happy. It's like, you know, I can just fill up my closet with nothing but shirts. You know how, you know how girls, or most women, are all about jewelry and shoes? I think that's my issue, but with shirts. So, instead of having a closet filled with shoes or a jewelry box filled with nothing but jewelry, I'm more of just shirts. Shirts, shirts, shirts. Shirts galore. How does that look? A little rugged. Does it, does it look kind of rugged? It looks it looks like a mess. It looks like, like I said, like I was cutting it and I didn't know how to cut it. So I'm going to find some stuff. Let's see. Da, 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 da. You know what? I'm going to take some of my boyfriend's stuff here. Don't tell him. I'm just going to take some of his markers. And so I'm just going to shove them in here and see how it looks. This is actually his little creating table right here. He likes to draw. And I'm just going to put these scissors and these tweezers in there. Why not? Why not? I'll take this tape too. Why not? But yeah, this is his. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah, this is his table. He likes to draw. That's not bad. Finished product. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm I'm saying, look at this, and yeah, wow. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. Let me adjust this for you. Okay. Yeah, right, see, that's not bad. It looks like that. Let's go with little fringes, and you put it together. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Sorry guys if this is really bad camera editing or viewing. I'm sorry. 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 Ow, my foot. Oh, that really hurt. I think I just popped my foot. All right. Well, that was this was this video for making a DIY t-shirt tote bag. I'm sorry. I lost my train of thought for a second. And, yeah. Well, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, I'll try to get back to you with those comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!